Did you know that you could be harboring the bacteria that causes more than one half of all peptic ulcers? And by eliminating the bacteria, you could be symptom free. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, H. pylori infection is common and often begins in childhood. Symptoms usually don't occur until adulthood, although most people never have any symptoms. The specialists at Advanced Gastroenterology and Surgery Associates explain how you may come in contact with H. pylori and how it's treated. H. pylori, which is short for Helicobacter pylori, it is a bacteria, but unlike other bacteria, it prefers to infect only in the stomach. All right, so therefore it doesn't go to the blood system, it doesn't go to the brain, it doesn't go to other organs. It's quite prevalent out there. No one knows exactly how it's transmitted, whether it be respiratory, orally, somehow it is ultimately ingested and settled into the stomach. It is a chronic infection that causes inflammation to the lining of the stomach. It can cause symptoms of pyrosis or abdominal or pain, nausea, belching, so all those GI symptoms. In the long run, it can cause stomach ulcers. We didn't know in the past that peptic ulcer disease was an infectious etiology, um, but since the advent of, of eradication of H. pylori, um, that has decreased the incidence of peptic ulcer disease dramatically. Patients who come in with these generalized GI symptom, abdominal pain, nausea, bloating. The primary care usually will check a blood test called an H. pylori serology. And if that is positive, then they will be treated. If that has not been done, and let's say the patient presents to our GI clinic, and when we do endoscopy, we do biopsies, and we check for the bacteria that way as well. And of course, if that's positive, then we'll treat. And the condition is very easily treated with antibiotics and require 10 to 14 days. According to Science Magazine, researchers estimate that as many as 500 to 1,000 species of bacteria live in and on the human body. You'll find more information about H. pylori bacteria as well as contact information for the specialists at AGSA when you click the H. pylori story link on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.